The Round Rock ISD Board of Trustees announced on Monday that Dr. Daniel Presley will serve as the district's acting superintendent. This all comes after the board accepted Dr. Steve Flores' resignation earlier this month. KXAN's Caitlin Carmuth sat down with Dr. Presley today as he takes over. So taking over in the middle of the school year, I, I can imagine you feel pretty equipped to do that. Yeah, I've been fortunate over the last six years to serve as a chief of schools, which uh, in our district is like second in charge to the superintendent. And so um, I've been pretty well tuned in to a lot of things going on at the, the district level. This surely hasn't been an easy transition to not only have it happen in the middle of a pandemic, but in the middle of the school year. Yeah, it's, it hasn't been, um, but I think any superintendent in the state could probably say that because things literally with the, the COVID virus, you know, change day to day and sometimes several times within a day with new information and things that are coming out. So it's a new navigation for everybody across the state and across the nation as far as that goes. So we have our challenges, but um, I don't think we're any different than, than other districts. Uh, we were fortunate to have a strong leader in Dr. Flores. Um, you know, who, who recently left. And uh, so I think he got us to a good place for where we can continue the good work that's going on and hopefully serve all of our students well. One thing, you know, I think that I think goes without saying is the, the social emotion, emotional health of our students and staff, because this is a brand new world for kids and it's a brand new world for teachers and everybody. And we got to make sure we're giving them the, the proper emotional supports that they need beyond making sure your computer works. You know, how are you feeling today? And I think that's going to be an important part that we really need to focus on for the remainder of the year. So I believe most of our teachers, any, the needs they have have been addressed. Uh, everybody's probably not totally happy with the decisions that were made. But the bottom line on staff and students is if we have uh, whatever number of students in a building, we have to have all adults to work with them. And so uh, we wished everybody could have everything exactly like they want it. But I know our principals are working really hard on our campuses to make sure that physical accommodations are made if somebody needs to move to a different type of space. I've known, I've, I know of principals who have made those types of adjustments. And then of course, the, the safety pieces of ma wearing masks all the time, um, which you know we're doing our best to enforce. All of this is hard and it is hard to, to have a, a leadership change in the middle of all this. So I, I guess that's probably my biggest goal is that we continue to serve our community in a smooth way so that students don't see big differences or things changing unless it's warranted by some you know, a spike in the virus or some diminishing of the virus. Given you do have, you know, years in the school district, is continuing as superintendent, is, is that a possibility or is it entirely hiring someone new? No, I think it'll be entirely hiring someone new. Uh, I took on the acting role and I told the board that, you know, I wasn't intending to apply for the position myself. Um, I'm a, I am a veteran educator, but I'm also a granddad and uh this is a, I mean, it's a, it's a big job and uh, I think they'll find the right person. Uh, we have four new board members uh, coming on this, this fall and uh, I think they'll find the right leader for the district, but uh, my intention is not to continue long-term or, you know, permanently uh, serving the district in this capacity. Our thanks to Caitlin for getting that interview today. Meanwhile, Dr. C. Flores' resignation does not mean he still will not have a role with the school district. He plans to remain a district employee through March 31st. It's all to help out with the transition. As part of his resignation agreement, Flores will be paid his full salary for the 2020 academic year, plus a settlement of more than $420,000. He served seven years as the Round Rock ISD superintendent.